Hi everybody, this is my next ATC card that I'm gonna make. But first I'm gonna show you the first one because I'm not sure if I showed that one in, in its entirety. Here's the front. I think I might have added a sticker or two after my last recording, but it's got the leaf, the um, ladybug, and the cat head for no particular reason other than I like them. And um, this is the back. Um, I did cover up all my information, uh, so that my information is underneath there. The paper um, is the one I painted to test um, that new color shift paint that I bought that you may have seen in a, in a haul that I did from Hobby Lobby. And I thought it went well with the paper and plus, why not, it was fun. And, and the ribbon. So again, that's my first ATC card. Mine are kind of simple because that's kind of the way I roll. Um, but also, um, I'm not as it good with layering as I need to learn how to do that layering that y'all do so well. So this is my first one. Now the second one is also very simple, but I saw the paper, it's immediately what I wanted to do with it. So this is what I came up with. Um, so first off is, uh, this is um, the paper pack that I got from Takeda's Crochet. Uh, and as soon as I saw this paper, I wanted to use it for my next card. So here it is cut out. I also stole Bob Bonnie's idea. I forgot. I also had the little uh, Zaron sticker maker and I thought, wow, that's smart. I can use it to, to do ribbon with as well. Uh, mine's probably a lot older than hers. Um, Cause I think the purple one is newer than the orange one. I'm not sure, but I've had for years. And then this is the sticker pack I picked up for this cat. I'm pretty sure I got this on clearance from Michael's. These are the various cats in it. I got a dog one and a, I think another one. I'm not, I can't quite remember. But I know for sure it was on clearance. So um, I, that, these are the items I'm going to use. Oh, and I forgot. had this one little charm. And I simply clipped off the, uh, the little hangy things that are on each side using uh, whatever, these, whatever this thing is called. Uh, I don't know, cutting tool. Um, so, and then I have um, glue and stuff like that. Oh, and I'm also going to use um, pop dot to make the cat stand out a little bit. So, um, I'm going to start here by putting the, these guys on first, and I will have to trim them up. But I wanted to put them on first and then trim them up afterwards to make sure I had the right size. If I can get this off, so you just peel off that part and you now have a sticker. So thank you, Bonnie, very much for the, for this. It definitely is going to make putting this ribbon on much easier than the glue I used last week. So I'm going to put one across the top. And this is in frame, go a little higher. And I'm going to use one uh, along the bottom frame it out and go a little higher on that one so make sure it's on there wow oh, well, I need to learn how to be a little straighter there we go so straight these two on and then just this time I remembered scissors and clip off the edges And I try to be as straight as possible, but if I'm a little off, well, it's in my book, it just makes it a little more special because you know it's handmade. So there we go. Oops. Not, not that special. Well, let me get that off. Okay. So now that I know where the, I have the footprints, I'm gonna, I know I'm going to want this here. And then kitty cat. Oops. So I know where to place everybody. So I'm gonna put this here. All right, I've already got the pop dot on because I learned last week I needed to come prepared a little bit better than I did. So I didn't have like an Ian's long video. So here we go. Use the putty tat. And then also learn to put my glue upside down so I don't have to sh spend 20 minutes shaking it trying to get it out. So, put a little, little 
glue on. I do like Eileen's Tacky Glue uh, um, for a lot of things. This is just a clear one. No idea where I got it from. Sure, it was Michael's or Joanne's or something Hobby Lobby, something of that nature. And put that on here underneath the putty tat. So there is the front. Hopefully that is in view and you can actually see it. So here it goes there. Nice. And I was really going for the black and white theme. Uh, so that is what that was for. And then um, just for the back, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to put my information right here. So for the washi tape is to put the cats here. I'm going to a little bit off this side. So it starts with the kitty cat. And uh, this washi tape I got from Daiso. Um, so Daiso is one of my favorite stores to shop. Here and then cut and make it starts with the kitty cat again. Oopsie, I'll have to glue that back on in a second. Yes, I know I should wait for this to dry. Alright. Alright. So here's the front again. This will be the back. And I don't know, should I put a third one here? And then I'll have my information over the top or just leave it with my info. Well, I think I'll put a third one. Might be a little bit of overkill, but that's okay. The more cats, the better, I say. And I have both cats and dogs in my family. of what it's going to look like. So, put my info here. I might do another cat there. I don't know yet. Or scooch this over just a little bit so you can see the cat playing with the butterfly. So, that is my plain little card there. Once again, I will re-glue that on. Um, so here we go, one well, last look on here. So I hope you all are having a great day. And I might um, map the, with black the uh, address part. So I hope you guys are all having fun and making the ATC cards. I can't wait to see all that you guys are doing. I definitely need to learn about layering from you all. So I look forward to learning and I hope you guys are having a wonderful week.